In this video I want to show you best CSS framework that you can find, and it is called Tailwind CSS. So what problems do we have in CSS at all, and how we are solving them? The main problem is that CSS is really low level, which means we can't just take a bunch of classes and build our project. We really need to define each class and everything that it does, and it consumes a lot of time. This is why we are using CSS frameworks, and actually they are all going in the same direction. And the most popular CSS framework is called Bootstrap, you for sure know it. The main idea is that you have a bunch of components and helpers that will help you to build the project. As you can see here I opened components in Bootstrap, and for example let's look on component badge. So here we are specifying class badge and some additional states that we can have. And this is completely fine, which means we should not specify all these classes and their styles on our own, we simply reuse classes or components which they already created for us. The main problem is here that all these components are kind of reusable, but they don't fit your specific project, which actually means you install Bootstrap, you take design for your project, and you start thinking how you can adjust components to your needs, because you can't really take the component and use it, it won't fit to your specific case. And there is a possibility to customize Bootstrap a little bit, so you can specify some configs and how components are working, but at the end you will always create your own styles or override styles of Bootstrap with important. Which means this is not a best solution and it doesn't make your work really faster. This is why almost always I didn't use any CSS frameworks, but just created my own CSS, because it was faster and it was built specifically for my project. And actually all frameworks in CSS are working in exactly the same way. They are not flexible enough to cover the needs of every project, because every project is different. And we had this problem really long time, until people created Tailwind. And actually this is nothing new there, this is just a bunch of helpers to create our project. The main idea is here that we have zero components, we have just helpers to write our CSS faster. And this is the main website tailwindcss.com, and as you can see here is the example. So we have here some markup, and as you can see we have all our helpers from Tailwind inside HTML. So the idea is that we are writing zero CSS, but we just use helpers to build our own components or project. And this is extremely powerful and this is exactly what we need. We don't have anything predefined, we create everything that we need, but really fast. Which means we are fast on implementing CSS and on prototyping. And most people when they see Tailwind markup are saying this is garbage, I don't want to read it and I can't read it and I won't use it. But actually it makes a lot of sense when you are getting used to it. And the learning curve here is really fast, it's a matter of days and not weeks or months. Actually as you can see here we have a lot of classes, which means W32 means that here we have width of 32. And 32 doesn't mean that we are talking about pixels here. So what we are talking about? For this we can simply open documentation and you don't need anything here on the left and you can just use search. This is what I am using all the time. So here we want just to write width and as you can see here we have nice autocomplete. So I am jumping to width and we have a bunch of classes here, starting with width 0 and then it goes upper and upper. The main point is that here we don't work with pixels, we are working with predefined values. And this is extremely important because we don't want to adjust every single class with pixels, because it takes a lot of time. And for sure now you are thinking, ok, here we have some predefined classes, but what if our project has another width? In this case we can add your specific width to configuration. And the main idea is that you are adding this configuration exactly like it is done in Tailwind. For this I will scroll a little bit to the bottom, and as you can see here we have a block with customizing. So here we can create Tailwind config.js and provide inside spacing, and spacing is exactly width class. And when we are adding it like this, then we can use it just like we are using classes from Tailwind, which means it is extremely flexible. One more important thing that I really like about Tailwind is responsiveness. We have responsiveness in Tailwind out of the box, as you can see here we can simply say md, then colon and width auto. In this case it will be applied only to devices of size medium and bigger. 
And inside Tailwind you have a lot of awesome helpers and cool stuff, but let's look on the real example how we can use it. And here I have a small project which is already built with CSS, and this is a nested comments inside React. For us it's not important that it is built inside React, because we simply want to convert CSS that we have here to Tailwind CSS. And as you can see here we have our comments, this is our list of nested comments, here on the top we can create our new comment, click right, and here is our comment. We can reply here by adding new form, we are hitting reply, here is our comment, we can also edit it. And here on the left I opened our component for comments. And if you don't know React, no worries, you don't need it for this video. As you can see here we have a markup with different classes. And all these classes are coming from the right file, this is index.css inside our project, and here you can see plain CSS. So our idea here is to get rid of this index.css completely and just use inline tailwind CSS. How we can do this? Let's start with the first class. So here we have class name comments, and you can see on the right we have here margin top 20. How we can do it with Tailwind? For this we need to open documentation. Let's say we don't know anything regarding Tailwind. I am simply searching here and we know that we are interested in margin. This is why I am typing here margin and clicking on the first link. And as you can see here we have a helper for margins, and it is always starting with letter M. The most interesting part for us that we have margin on all sides, and it's not what we want. But when we scroll it a little bit you can see that here we have different cases, for example to get the margin top and margin bottom, and then we are writing here M and Y, which kind of makes sense. When we scroll even more, you can see here helpers for margin top. So to set our class to margin top 30, we need to use MT and then some number. And as you can see all numbers here are in RAM, but we are using pixels, so we can just test what will fit us. Let's take for example MT3 or 4 and check how it looks. So here we need to remove class comments and just write MT for example 4. Let's save this and check what we have. As you can see here instead of class comments we now have MT4. And as you can see here is our class MT4 from Tailwind. And now we can jump inside computed and check margin top. As you can see our margin top is 16 pixels. But we need margin top 20, this is why let's just take margin top 5 and check how it looks like. As you can see with margin top 5 we are getting exactly 20 pixels like it was previously. And the main point of Tailwind that we are simply writing what we need inside HTML markup and we should not write any CSS at all. This is why now we can completely remove this part with comments, we don't need it anymore. The next one is comments title and this is our next element. Here we first of all need font size and secondly margin bottom. And we already know margin top, this is why margin bottom will be just mb, then dash and also 20 pixels, it also will be 5. But now we have font size and we don't know what it is about. This is why we can just open search and here write font size. Let's jump to the link and as you can see here we have a bunch of sizes. The most important part that we have them like helpers, so they are not in pixels. We have sizes like small, base, large, XL, LG and so on. Let's try to use here for example text 3 XL. This is why here I simply put space and simply write text dash 3 XL. And the important point here to remember is that all helpers regarding text are starting with word text, which means if you have some color, then it will be text dash color. Let's check if it's working. As you can see here is MB5, so we have nice bottom padding, and here our text 3 XL and font size is exactly 30 pixels like we need it. So our comments title can also be removed. Our next class is comment form title. As you can see on the right it is font size 22 and nothing else. So here we can simply write font size like previously text and we know that it should be smaller than 30. So it should be not 3xl but 2xl or maybe 1xl. Let's try with 1xl. Here is our element write comment text excel and as you can see on the right our font size is 20 pixels and this is exactly what we need. So now here on the right we can remove our class because we wrote it in line. Now we have our comments container. As you can see on the right it is margin top 40. So here we can simply use what we did previously margin top and here will be bigger number for example 10. But you should not just increment numbers like you want because actually not every number exists inside Tailwind. 
This is why you always need to search, for example, for margin and check what you have here. Because, for example, you have here 10, 11, but then later you don't have 22 or 23, you just have 20 or 24. And you don't want to use helper that doesn't exist. So we wrote for our container margin top 10, and as you can see in browser, here is our container, and here we have exactly 40 pixels, like it was previously, and we can remove this class from the right. Now I think you got the idea of how it works, so let's speed up a little bit. So here we have our single comment, and as you can see on the right, we have display flags and margin bottom. So instead of this class, we simply write flags, and it means display flags and margin bottom 7. After this we have a class name comment image container. Actually we don't need it, we just need margin right 12 pixels, which means here we can write margin right 3. Our image actually should be rounded, this is why here on the image I can add a class and here I just write rounded full. And it means that our border radius here will be 30%, but actually this class is much easier to understand and read. After this we have right part of our comment, and here we have width 100%, so we simply say width full. Our content just need flex class, this is why here we simply write flex, and here is our comment author. Here first of all we need margin right 2, we also need here font size, so it will be text Excel, and we also need a different color. And actually we have a lot of predefined colors inside Tailwind. This is why you can simply write here text, blue and then 500. For our comment text we want to use text LG. And after this we have a bunch of action buttons. As you can see here we have comment actions and inside reply, edit and delete. And actually as you can see on the right we have here display flex, font size, color, cursor and margin top. This is why here I want to remove class comment actions and write first of all flags, then here we will have text XS and here it needs to be grayish. This is why here we will have text color gray and here will be 500, then we also need cursor pointer, this is why we are writing here cursor dot pointer, and here we also need margin top, so here we will have margin top too. As you can see we are writing quite a lot of classes, but actually you can easily read them after you worked a little bit with Tailwind. And after this we have our comment action, and actually this is a nice example because we have exactly the same class name several times. Which means here we want to remove a class and write margin right 2, and here we have hover underline. And here are two interesting things. First of all here we have special prefix hover, and we can apply all our helpers on the hover state by default. Second interesting thing is what we are doing with classes, where we have a bunch of them inside every single element. So previously we reused our class, but we can't do it now, which actually means we will paste exactly the same classes all over again. And obviously this is not a best approach, and we have here two solutions. Solution number one, we can still create classes with the help of Tailwind. As you can see here in documentation, we can create such stuff. So we are creating class button, and we are writing inside apply, and then we have a bunch of classes. Then across our application we can simply use a class button, and not all these classes over and over again. But actually I really like another approach and it doesn't have anything to do with Tailwind itself. And normally we are using some frontend framework, like for example React, where we are creating a bunch of components. And actually what we can do, we can create a shareable component, because actually for example in our case we have a special action button. So actually we can reuse this component and just provide a different label inside, and we can simply write inside this class name without need to duplicate it, because we will simply use this component everywhere and not the classes. And actually we almost finished, the last class that we need to change is called replies, and this is simply margin top 5. Now let's check if everything is working like previously. As you can see here in browser I am reloading the page, and all our comments are looking exactly like previously. But if we will inspect them, you can see here that all our classes are now written with Tailwind. So here we have flex, margin bottom, margin right and so on. As you can see with Tailwind we can build projects really fast, and we don't need to override anything with important like we did previously in Bootstrap. Also if you are interested in building a Twitter page with plain HTML and CSS, don't forget to check this video.